Good morning, everybody. Shahayak from Northeast Thailand. Um, this is a kind of a interesting um, video in that. Um, <laughs> okay, let's cut to the chase. There's a Thai fruit you don't want to get. Believe me, this is one Thai fruit you don't want to grow. Let me just turn the. Now, firstly, the name of it is Hog. It's a very good name for it. Hog Plum. Okay. Now I'm going to turn the camera around. So here it is. It's got a um, beautiful yellow, beautiful, beautiful yellow um, flesh color. Uh, it's got some little spikes. They're not now overly sharp. Um, but this is immature. When they're mature, they're bright, bright red. Okay. Now this is a vine. And this is a vine that will take over. Believe me, it'll take over. Now, um, the interesting thing about this fruit, as beautiful as it looks, when it's ripe, it's red. And believe me, that red flesh inside, beautiful, vibrant red flesh with big black seeds, the flesh has zero flavor. Absolutely zip. So... <laughs> Beautiful to look at, you know, as a decorative uh, fruit on your table. But uh, you don't want to eat it. Well, you can eat it, but there's absolutely no flavour whatsoever. Now, the, I'll just show you down here. I'm in the process of clearing away a vine, the vine from this same fruit, with very large leaves, okay? And these leaves are favourite with those ants that uh, join the leaves together and make nests inside. Now this is a very heavy vine. All right, it's a heavy vine. Um, and they literally choke out anything that they grow next to. They will climb, let me show you. They will climb up, and I don't know if you can see it. I'll just move around a bit. Can you see the yellow fruit? A little dot of a yellow fruit? hanging there and there's another one it's probably very hard to see i can see it clear with my eye all right now this tree and you can see the break mark there this tree became covered and you can see the vine hanging down here all right that's from the same hog plum okay grows up the side of a tree or a trellis or whatever it is and the weight of it is so much that it snaps this branch snapped came down across the wall here took out, <laughs> took out that dragon fruit and this one that can be repaired this one it'll grow again but so my warning to you is don't plant this unless you're going to put it in the place where if it does choke out a tree and the branches break, it's not going to cause any damage. Now, let me turn the camera back. The irony of this is that I'm the one who discarded the seeds from this fruit and threw them over the fence <laughs> into the block next door. And that's where that big tree I was showing you is. So, hog plum. <laughs> I'm actually seeing it growing in other areas um, where it just chokes out anything that it's planted next to and it's a big heavy vine um, sorry I'm walking around with the camera pointing in the wrong direction there okay here we are again here's the culprit okay brilliant vibrant red when it's mature red flesh inside not a skerrick of taste to it. Big black seeds. So I flung, <laughs> I flung the seeds over the fence, realising that the fruit had no flavour, into the neighbour's yard, and it subsequently climbed up that tree. Now it will probably continue climbing up that branch next to it, that branch with no visible sign yet of that vine. Now the weight of the vine probably at one some stage will snap that big limb if it does it's going to come down harmlessly into this vacant block next door 
but that branch that was overhanging, I, I had an eye on it for a long time. I thought, oh, something's going to happen. Sure enough, during the downpours we've had over the last weeks, it snapped yesterday or the day before yesterday, and down she came. Took out virtually an entire tree row, <laughs> which is no disaster. I can replant everything, but um, there's a snapped papaya. There's something buried under here. I forget what it was. There's a looks like a very sick eucalypt. Uh, the chaya is okay. Um, so there it is. That's the vine. Big, heavy, solid vine. Right. And not easy to put. You, you've got to cut the vine, and it's not easy to cut. It's a very strong vine. Can you see that yellow fruit hanging up there? There you go. <laughs> All right, that's it for me. <laughs> You've been warned. <laughs> See ya.